We have some cozy winter accessories with a really thick yarn with some air in weight. And I have a little assistant here. Are you ready to slumber stitch? Are you gonna be a slumber stitch? I'm gonna show you some color ideas and talk all about the slumber cowl, which is a new pattern for your air and weight yarn, and the slumber shawl, which uses the same yarn in a shawl format. So let's start with the new cowl. This pattern just came out and it's really easy to knit. So I wanted a really beginner friendly cowl that didn't take forever and ever. So you get a lot of bulky, beautiful drapey fabric, but it doesn't take you all month to knit it. So I think you could do this in a week or a couple weekends of knitting. It doesn't take too long with the thick gauge. And I used four colors. So it's a simple rectangle that you seam together with four colors from light to dark. I used Le Bien Aimé Merino Erin, which is a really squishy, plump, round yarn. And it's yeah very spongy and lofty and very robust with that thick, plump quality. So I think that Merino Erin, I would describe it as plump, would be the best adjective to describe Merino Erin. It just has so much life to the fibers and it's 100% superwash Merino. So really soft next to the skin and you can see those fun wavy patterns really highlight the speckles and variegated yarns. And four colors faded from light to dark will make that cowl. And we put a lot of palettes together at Stephen and Penelope to get you started and make your color choosing adventure really easy. So I put a lot of faded color palettes together from La Bien Aimée and you can pick your favorite palette. And I recommend starting with the lightest color and then melt your way into those speckled and saturated colors for the end. And what I like about the cowl is the first and last color get to meet with that fun I-cord seam. And I share a video tutorial in the pattern that shows you step-by-step step how to make that seaming technique. So slumber cowl, really cozy. You can wear it all draped just as one long infinity style cowl or double wrap it for an extra warm cozy winter layer. So I, do, I wear this one while I'm biking in Amsterdam and it keeps me really warm with that really thick plump gauge. So that's the slumber cowl and uh, it's the same wavy stitch pattern as the slumber shawl. And this is one of my very easy, super simple West knit shawls. If you've never knit a shawl before, I often recommend the slumber shawl because it goes much quicker than those big fingering weight shawls. You don't need as much yarn or knitting time and it's a really easy straightforward pattern. So there's increases at the edge and that beautiful little wave in the center and a final wavy border. Really easy knitting, knits, a little garter pearl ridge and uh, you get those fun eyelets for the drape. So I chose those eyelets for this yarn weight because when you knit with that thicker yarn sometimes it can be a bit bulkier that Aran weight but with those eyelets in the fabric you get that thick plush feeling, but it's still fluid and has a nice movement to it. So it's not too stiff when you wear it. It's really soft and drapey and you get a nice small to medium sized shawl with those four skeins. So that's the slumber shawl also from light to dark and stitch. You're wearing the neon version, aren't you? This is your color, isn't it? Are you slumbering stitch? Are you feeling the slumber vibes? So this is another color palette we have in grays to those neon colors and speckles. Super fun with the neutrals and a pop. So you'll notice that a lot of the kits have the neutrals that fade into a color pop or they're all a color family. So we have purples, splashy speckled purples, vibrant icy blues. You're gonna find a lot of really gorgeous grays and the original gold and bright yellow palettes as well. So Slumber Shawl, it's knit with just four skeins and each skein of Merino Aran has about 181 yards or 166 meters for 100 grams. So that times four is quite a lot of yarn in that Aran weight gauge. You're gonna have some leftovers, but if you wanna keep making that border a little bigger or make the cowl a little bit longer, you can just keep on going until you run out of yarn or have leftovers and add them to your next projects. Stitch, what you barking at? What you doing, girl? So those are the color palettes we have. These are all at Stephen and Penelope while we have the kit color palettes in stock. And it's a really nice yarn to try and especially good for your first shawl or your first cowl project. They're really, really easy 
and uh, super beginner friendly. So I'll add links to these yarns and kits and a link to the pattern as well in the description box down below. And I'd love for you to comment and let me know if you've knit with this yarn or if you have any other favorite Aaron Waite projects that you think would look really nice, like a hat or a cowl. Let me know your favorite Aaron Waite projects in the comments down below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And we're gonna have some new designs coming up, don't you think, Stitch? Maybe some more shawls, more winter sweaters. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun tutorials coming, so keep an eye out on my YouTube channel for all those technique tutorials. We'll see you later. Gonna say bye, Stitch? Gonna take a nap? See you later. <laughs>